Kate dazzles in diamonds. The Duchess wears Cambridge lover's not tiara and ruffled Alexandra McQueen dress as she attends the Queen's state banquet. Kate Middleton looked glamorous in the, the Cambridge lover's not tiara as she attended the Queen's state banquet this evening at Buckingham Palace. The Duchess, 37, wore the tiara and sparkly earrings as she joined husband Prince William on her way to the banquet. Later on we saw her white ruffled gown, thought to be Alexandra McQueen, as she was paired with United States Secretary of the Treasury, Stephen Nutchen, as they arrived together through the East Gallery. Husband Prince William was just meters ahead of them, walking alongside Prime Minister Theresa May. They were all there to welcome special guests for the evening President Trump and his wife Melania. Kate was also wearing the Dame Grand Cross of the Royal Victorian Order on her blue sash, which was gifted to her in April by the Queen. The Duchess, who also paired her tiara with the Queen Mother's sapphire and diamond fringe earrings, joined 150 other guests including the President's children Ivanka Trump, Donald Jr. and Eric and Laura Trump. Others have been invited to the state banquet on the basis of their cultural, diplomatic or economic links to the U.S. Kate finished the look with the diamond and pearl Cambridge lovers not Diara owned by Princess Diana, which she also wore for a banquet hosted in honor of King Willem Alexander and Queen Maxima of the Netherlands last October and to the Chinese state banquet in 2015. Kate completed her elegant appearance by wearing her hair back in an odd style bun, and paired with classic makeup. Donald Trump and Melania have enjoyed an afternoon tea with Prince Charles and Camilla on the first day of the U.S. President's state visit to Britain where he lunched with the Queen after starting a war of words with Sadiq Khan as he landed on British soil. Mr. Trump and his wife had a private meeting with the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall at their London residence where Trump had pledged to tackle the topic of climate change with the heir to the throne. The Trumps then visited Clarence House after placing a wreath at the Tomb of the Unknown Warrior in Westminster Abbey as there began their whirlwind three-day state visit coinciding with the 75th anniversary of D-Day. Earlier on today the Queen rolled out the red carpet for the leader of the free world starting with a private lunch at Buckingham Palace followed by a personal tour of its art collection by the monarch herself.